My name is Tom Hank, and I was born in Trenton and also lived part-time down here at the shore. Born in 1927, that's the year Lindbergh flew the Atlantic, and I'm 92 now. Well, I guess we would have to go back to when I was in my seventh Christmas. Dad bought me, excuse me, Santa Claus brought me a nice little toolbox. And by the end of Christmas Day, just when supper was called, I came up out of the cellar with my very first birdhouse. And that birdhouse lasted for quite a few years, hanging outside. My mom gave me a piece of balsa wood and a pair of scissors and the kitchen table and says, have some fun with this. And I made my first model airplane. The declarations of war will be introduced in each chamber immediately after the presidential messages have been read. The declarations will read like the one adopted in the case of Japan, but in this case... I asked my mom what she thought because I wanted to fly. I was accepted into the Air Force, into the pilot program. And then when the, uh, the war ceased in Germany, then they needed no more pilots. So they closed up the flight program. I was offered the opportunity to branch out into another part of the service, be discharged, or stay in the Air Force and take my chances on whatever. The whatever is what grabbed my attention. I could be a mechanic. We were stationed in a small town, Erlingen, nine kilometers north of Nuremberg. And it was there that uh, we were assigned an airplane to work on. It was a lot of fun doing it, but it wasn't until a while later that I got my own personal airplane, the brand new one. And uh, it was really neat working on that plane to be able to see how powerful it was. It might seem like bragging, but that airplane flew better and faster than any other it was on the field. So a lot of pride went into it. Went overseas in 45 and came home in 46. It was definitely a big change. I had to look for work. And the only work I knew was for aircraft work. I wound up becoming an aircraft loftsman, drawing the lines on all the experimental aircraft, plus or minus, 3 thousandths of an inch. I was, uh, well, I should say it was suggested to me that I would make a good teacher. As you can see from my experiences that uh, it was easy for me and fun to do and to be able to teach kids that I found out I just loved working with kids. I started teaching in 54. My first job was in Long Island working with kids from kindergarten through 12th grade. That experience helped me decide on working with youngsters in the eighth grade. A job opened up in Tom's River and I spent the rest of my teaching career working in metal shop in the Tom's River schools. One story comes to mind in uh, a boy that I had in the eighth grade he was told by the school principal he would never amount to anything. A very cruel thing to say to a boy, especially in eighth grade. Well, I can tell you the boy's first name, John. John came back to visit and tell me how he was doing after he was up in the high school the following year. He said, John, let me ask you, what are you doing now with your life? He says, I'm a nuclear physicist as a civilian on board a Navy submarine. Oh, you're not going to mount anything, huh? He says, well, he said, I had some good influences. And it was really neat to see a boy turn negative as long with positive influences and making a good career for himself. Most everything that I have carved has been given away. 
to see the looks on people's faces when they were giving one of the carvings. To receive something like that with a beautiful thought to go along just how it affected someone in a positive way is very fulfilling.